guys it's the beginning of day 15 here so today what we're going to be doing is putting all the fascia on the building and then i think we're going to put in some windows so let's get to work so here's some sped up footage on how we cut the fascia so the first cut that wraps around the corner of the building and starts going up the rake side up the gable side of the building so this first cut is just a 90 degree bend we uh, cut the bottom side of the fascia like you can see me doing here and we use a 2x6 to bend it nice and flat around. You can see the 2x6 on the trailer there. Yeah. Yeah. Then you'll see me using some pinchers here to pinch the bottom rolls of the fascia flat so that they sit flat against each other when they're up on the building. Because it's, um, it's going to get undercut a little bit. Mark the inside and then I'll take all of the blade. In the last clip you see this holding that piece up and uh, marking it. So now Joel's just cutting a little bit off the bottom of that fascia to match the roof pitch that goes up the rake side. Let me go back here. <laughs> So here's how we cut the gable going up the rake side. So I'm just using my speed square here to mark a 412 and then I'm using the angle finder to steal that angle and then I'm using the angle finder to mark a 412 pitch on the fascia. You'll see me cut that off here. That's the piece that goes up the rake ends of the fascia. suck the whiteness on the end. So here's a time lapse of us installing the fascia on the whole back side of the building. You can see we did both corners making those cuts that I, sh that I showed you guys in the first few clips here, the sped up footage. And then we move on to doing the peak and doing the sides and now we're back at the front doing the other two corners um, the corners take a little while just to cut and fit properly so everything looks nice um, the sides are just straight runs you don't even have to cut it unless it's too long you cut a cut the length of it uh, the peaks also have a few special cuts the first cut at the peak is actually overcut which means that the fascia will extend past the ridge line and then the second cut is cut at a 412 pitch so it gives you that nice line and the reason why you overcut the first one is so that when the 412 cut on the fascia lines up no wood is exposed behind the piece because it's overcut here we're prepping to do the uh, windows so you can see we're installing some blue skin which is basically underlayment to go inside of the window jams so that if any rain or water or moisture makes it through behind the windows it's not going to rot out the wood inside it's going to sit and escape out on this blue skin it's kind of the same concept as putting this stuff underneath the shingles on the roof so we're installing the blue skin in the corners the house wrap actually comes up and over into the jams so it will serve as underlayment in the windows for the middle parts and here you can see we're cutting uh, some little notches in some blue skin and that's just to cover the corners uh, where we had to cut the blue skin. It kind of creates a, a little area in the corner where it's not really covered. So this is an extra piece put in there to cover the very corner of the window jams. Oh, 
Thanks for going that way. Without telling me. You started moving and not me. I'll hold this up here. Let us get in. You go inside. Got it. Okay, I got it. So we got the window leveled up in the opening and we put some shims underneath it and made sure that all the gaps on the inside were equal. Joel's now using some shingle nails to nail the window in through the nailing strips on the outside while I hold it in place. When you frame a rough opening for a window, you usually want to leave about a half inch of room all the way around the windows. Uh, the reason for that is for shims, but mostly it's for spray foam, so using specialized uh, window and door spray foam to go in between that jam will keep it airtight and the space created will give you enough room to actually get the spray can in around the edges of the window between the jam and the window. After the window is installed we uh, come out to the outside and tuck tape all around the nailing edges of the window where Joel put all those shingle nails through the window to hold it in place. So this is essentially like cutting your house wrap. When you cut your house wrap uh, to go around a corner or up in the gables, you always have to tuck tape the seams. So when you put a window in, there's a penetration in, in the wall of the building. So you have to put tuck tape on those as well. And you'll see here that little flap that we left. I'm pulling it down. Uh, and putting it over top of some tuck tape that I already installed. And then now I'm just cutting it so that part of the tuck tape underneath is exposed. And that way I could put tuck tape over top of that. And it creates an area where if water were to get behind the siding, it would roll down over top of the house wrap on the face of the window and be able to escape or dry up behind the siding. Whereas if we put the window on over top the house wrap if water were to get behind the siding it would actually go inside the window and touch the spray foam and potentially get onto the wood it would just create an area where there's more of a possibility of rotting wood or damage to the inside of the building <laughs> installing the last window. This is a smaller window. It's on the front of the building by the big garage door. So you can see the uh, nails we're using are shingle nails, but they're actually coiled nails. Uh, we didn't have any loose shingle nails to put on, so we just took a coil from the roofing gun and we kind of just bent the nails and used them until they snapped off of the wire welds. <music> Hey 
you guys into day 15 here so you can see we got all the fascia put up and the windows put in so you can see down the line here all the soffits are in and we got the windows put on that's the little front one there's one on the side here and there's one in the back right here So that's the end of day 15. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.